Gusto, a profile where we're going to talk about Carlo Giannocco, the Italian Terran player who loves pizza, spaghetti, and StarCraft 2. Strap yourself in, boys. Carlo Giannocco is the Italian Terran player Cloud, representing Team Alternate. Cloud has a long history in esports. He was probably the best non-Korean StarCraft Brood War player on the planet. Certainly would, would have been considered top three up there with Idra and Noni. And he's a very good StarCraft II player, a very outspoken StarCraft II player, and a damn good guy. I sat down, talked to Cloud, had a very long interview with him, and here are some of the best parts. Cloud, let's start off by you just introducing yourself to everybody. Who are you? Where are you from? What do you do? Why are you so damn awesome? Yeah, it's my pleasure. Uh, my name is Carlo Giannacco. I am a Terran player, uh, pro gamer for Team Alternates. I, I'm Italian, but at the moment I live in Germany. And yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, Carlo Giannacco. <laughs> Giannacco. It's, it's so fun to say that. <laughs> and even though I'm saying it wrong, so... Uh, I think you have a great name, Carlo. It's uh, okay, nobody says it right. So, Carlo, you say you're Italian. Now, in the StarCraft universe, that doesn't necessarily mean you live in Italy. So, tell us, you know, you were born there. Did you grow up there? What was your childhood like? Where do you live now, and, and what are you doing there? Yeah, of course. I've been in Italy since three years ago when I moved to Germany. What part of Italy are you from? Where'd you grow up? I was born in the South, where you can find the most awesome food in the world. And then I, I moved to the north to because of my dad's work when mm. I was eight. So I kind of uh, grew up there. Let's fast forward. Now you you played a lot of Brood War. You had some successes there, but um, at some point you you quit. And then StarCraft Two is announced. What was that transition like? Tell us about getting into StarCraft Two and the experiences you've had with the game. Okay, StarCraft Two. I'm known as one of the most whiny players ever. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even try to hide it. Uh, the thing is, uh, you know, it's it's StarCraft, so I'm like, okay, let's play it like StarCraft. But then StarCraft 2, there's so many more units. It's uh, more of a strategical game rather than a, uh, like... Yeah, I mean, StarCraft 1 was strategical, but in a different way. It was, it was more it about... Was mechanical as well. Yeah, it was very mechanical. That's one thing. That's very important, but also it was strategic in a different way because the units were so big compared to Sarkov 2 that it was uh, not so much about this big fight and not about having the right composition. It was uh, more about having the right position and using your units correctly. So for me, uh, well, like I was a very passive player until a certain point and then I got really aggressive. I'm a very uh, mid-game oriented player, mm -hmm. and this uh, also applies in Starcraft 2. Well, uh, until a while ago, then I changed a bit and I became more aggressive, but uh, for this kind of player, playing Starcraft 2 was horrible, because at the beginning, everyone was rushing off one base and everything was working, so yeah. <laughs> I just tried to expand and then, like, Dimaga mainly busts me, you know, in the <laughs> Dimaga won a lot of tournaments mainly busting, man. Yeah, and then like uh, Morrow Reaper rushing of one base winning tournament. I mean, yeah, the game was a bit like this, and I could not really adapt to it because it didn't fit my style at all. So, yeah, it was uh, I was winning a lot because of it because I was expecting a game very similar to Starcraft One, but uh, it's very different. Even though I, I have to say it got a lot better lately, and uh, I really enjoy playing Starcraft Two right now. But at the time, it was not the same. Thing. Now, uh, um, oh, go ahead, finish. Uh, I mean, uh, at the time, it, uh, it was a lot about uh, just finding out new strategies, uh, hoping they work. So, and of course, looking forward to the fourth season of the North American Star League, you've got a pretty tough group. How do you see this season going for you? Uh, I, I had a quick look. Uh, I remember some of the names. It's a very tough group. Uh, I remember we got Naniwa, for example. Uh, like other great players, I have like three Koreans, I think, and other top players. I don't really remember the names, but... Uh, Xenio, Puzzle, Puma, Hyun, Galaxy, Naniwa, Selex, TLO, and Cloud. Okay, so uh, I don't know Galaxy, uh, but 
well, Naniwa and the Koreans are pretty tough, and Hyun is uh, like a monster. I, I, I beat him all the time in Europe because we play in Europe, but we will play in North America, so it would be fair this time. And I have so much respect for Hyun. And then Puma, Puma is completely like astounding in TVT, so to be a tough group, but I like it because I uh, just like challenge. So I will try to, to bring my A game there and, and try to, to do as well as I can. And perhaps this time I can advance to the next stage. It's definitely going to be one of the toughest seasons of North American Star League yet, uh, but I am very eager to follow your progress through it, Carlo. Uh, just a few final questions and then I'll let you go because I know we've been talking for a while. Carlo, what would you like to say to all of your fans? There's a ton of them cheering for you and supporting you and wanting you to do well through season four of the North American Star League. Uh, well, first of all, I, my, my deepest thanks uh, go to them because whenever I I get cheered by my fans, I, I really get happy and it motivates me a lot. Um, I'm just I'm just improving steadily as a person and as a player. And I'm just playing a lot, so just expect me to do, to do better and better. I mean, I'm I think I've shown uh, really good games in the last season. Maybe sometimes I played bad because, uh, for example, against Puma, Diablo 3 just came out and I didn't sleep for like two days when I played it. <laughs> that was another story. <laughs> Blizzard bad timings. Yeah. But, but, no, but, but yeah, uh, this time I'm going to, to prepare it for every match really, really well. I'm not going to play any other game and then going to, to try to to win my group as hard as I can, so I hope they're looking forward to it. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna show great games and, and great terrain to everybody. Cloud, thank you again for taking the time to sit down and talk with us, for your honesty, for your forwardness, and for your just awesome, charming persona. You're a great guy. I really hope you do well in the North American Star League season four. You're one of my picks to go far in this league, and I wish you all the success that is possible. This has been Profiled with Carlo Cloud Gianocco. Thank you so much, Cloud, for talking to us. We're going to kick it back over to you guys for the live broadcast.